Hi everyone, welcome to Weekday World, which is part of Love Church Online. And this week, we started talking about praying and thanking God in the first day on Monday. And today and on Tuesday, we talked about um, entering into the love of God. And today, I just want to share something about waiting, um, entering into a patient waiting for Christ. Entering into the patient waiting for Christ. And, and this is about... Um, the letter of Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians and the second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 5 says and the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God which we looked at yesterday and into the patient waiting for Christ now waiting is one of the most difficult things to do waiting for a change waiting to get out of lockdown <laughs> uh, waiting to be free on the 19th of July uh, and, and, and waiting you know for a personal change waiting for a report from the doctor waiting for um, a treatment a surgery waiting can, can be very tough uh, on, on anyone waiting for opportunities waiting for an interview waiting to get a job waiting for a business loan or a business opportunity waiting um, can be really tough and Apostle Paul here writing uh, that, you know, waiting for, for, for Christ, waiting, patiently waiting, entering into a waiting for Christ. And I just want to, want to share um, from the Bible, from Luke chapter 2, from verse 36 to 38. Um, I'm, I'm just going to read from the New Living Translation, uh, the prophecy of Anna. Anna, a prophet, verse 36, Anna, a prophet, was also there in the temple. She was the daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher. She was very old. Her husband died when they had been married only seven years. Verse 37, then she lived as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but stayed there day and night, worshiping God with fasting and prayer. In verse 38 says, she came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph and she began praising God. She talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly for God to rescue Jerusalem. Now, this is a story of somebody who was also praying for the salvation of the world, for the birth of Christ. They've all read about the history, the, the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah, the whole of the Old Testament, even Moses talked about the coming of Christ, but everybody was expectant, waiting, and, and Anna was also contributing in prayer, expectant, and when this finally happened, she, she came up to, to, to prophesy, to talk to everyone about Jesus, and that is what um, I just want to share today. If you're waiting for something, if you're waiting for a, a surgical process, you're waiting for an opportunity, you're waiting to travel, you're waiting for a test result, whatever you're waiting for, I just want to introduce Christ to you, um, to help you wait or to, to wait with you or to give you the grace to wait or to actually make that process even easier, maybe bring about a healing or bring ab about an opportunity or bring about a favor or, or something. That, that's that's what I want to introduce today. Uh, just like Anna the prophetess did in, in, in the Bible we read earlier. She talked to everyone about Jesus. She couldn't just, um, you know, keep quiet. She, she, couldn't, she, she couldn't keep the blessings alone. She just had to share to other people. And so if you've enjoyed or, uh, the grace of God, it's also important to share uh, um, this grace. And, and if you're waiting, somebody who is tired or if you're someone who you're exhausted, and you just want to change. I just want to pray with you uh, today. And why don't we just spend some time together um, to pray? Um, dear God, we, we just thank you so much uh, for the opportunity today to talk about waiting. And we recognize how difficult it is to wait. It could be very challenging to, to wait for, for a doctor's report, a doctor's appointment, a test result, or an interview. So many things happening in our life. Or even waiting for the salvation, waiting for a change, waiting for a revival to happen, waiting for our family members to really come to, to Jesus. Waiting in all areas of life. Lord Jesus, we just pray for grace and we pray for uh, healing for those who want healing. We just pray pray for your presence wherever everybody's watching from today and why don't we just 
pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, and your kingdom come, and your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. And please give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And please lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.